Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Sophia Bulova. Coming up in today's show, it's time to submit your student council application. We have your three-day forecast and our sports reporter showcase stories from our sports teams. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. All students who took an art course this year are asked to bring in any artwork you would like to showcase in this year's student art show held in the CSC. You can drop off your art pieces at Mrs. Page's or Mrs. Balco's room and complete a label sometime this week. The show will be set up on Monday, April 29. A link to the Senior High Student Council representative application has been sent to all student email addresses. If you are interested in representing your class and serving as a Senior High Student Council representative for the 2024-2025 school year, please submit the digital application and printed petition by 2.55 p.m. on April 29th. The Exploring Hispanic Foods classes are hosting their annual food truck fiesta event on May 8th in the CSC during lunch and GL time. Join us for food for, from 12 Spanish-speaking countries. Tickets for food will be available for purchase at the door. Contact Mrs. Donahue with any questions. Let's get a check on the weather. We'll go to Gianna Lewis for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high 59 with a low of 38 with partly sunny skies. Tomorrow we once again see sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 39. Lastly, on Saturday, the temperatures will range from 70 to 48 with cloudy skies. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. The third annual Next College and Career Fair will take place on Tuesday, April 30th in the main gym. Students will, will be brought down to the fair by their teachers during their designated times throughout the day. The fair is a great opportunity to interact with local employers and colleges. There will also be a raffle. The more tables you visit at the fair, the more tickets you can earn for a chance to win a prize. There will be also four food trucks parked outside on the circle during GL time. Students will have the opportunity to purchase food from the food trucks during Block A and Block B. Be on the lookout for more information from Mrs. Yetter about the fair. Students interested in a career in accounting are welcome to attend a guest speaker presented by Latrobe alum and current St. Vincent accounting major Madison Rozeski on Friday, May 3rd during Block B of GL time in the library. All students are welcome to attend. This event is in Flex Time Manager. Any girl interested in playing girls golf in the fall should sign up in the athletic office. As the spring sports season runs along, a couple of the players shared some of their favorite things about the season and what they do. Here is reporter Peter Zackham with the details. The volleyball team had an incredible season last year and are trying for another great season after almost winning the Whippeals last year. A pre-game warm-up is very important before a game to make sure you are fully ready for the upcoming game. In preparation for the volleyball game, the team shared their pre-game warm-up. Um, I practice with my team and I do some vertical workouts on the side. The team suffered a tough loss in the playoffs last year, losing in the second round and are now rebuilding and improving to win the Whippeals this year. We lost in uh, the playoffs, but uh, I think it wasn't our best effort. But this year, I think we can uh, go much farther in the playoffs. There can be a big difference between away and home games. The team shared some of the benefits of the home court when they play there. Uh, home games, definitely. I mean, we got the energy, you know. Whenever we get the school to come out and support, it's unmatched. It's unmatched, the energy. All right. Team morale is always important during the season. With good team morale, it can really make the difference when playing together. Friends. Games are also very fun. And also after games, going out with the team. Yeah. The boys volleyball team is hopefully on their way to a successful season. Make sure you stop by and support the boys volleyball team at home. Reporting for WCAT-TV, I'm Peter Zackham. A representative from the service academies will be here on Thursday, May 2nd, during both blocks of GL time and C106 to discuss opportunities with the armed forces. Students in grades 9 through 11 are invited to attend. The service academies include the Merchant Marine Academy, the Naval Academy, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, the Air Force Academy, and the Coast Guard Academy. Students who are selected for a service academy attend college for free and re receive a bachelor's degree as well as graduate as a commissions officer in the military. Any questions, please contact Mrs. Yetter. The Lake Trobe 4th of July celebration is accepting applications for the Miss 4th of July 2024 pageant. This is an excellent chance to meet new friends, network, and be included in the history of our area. Contestants should be between the ages of 14 and 19. The winner will have multiple appearance opportunities, including Steelers Training Camp. The winner will receive a $1,000 scholarship. 
The deadline is quickly approaching and applications will be accepted until April 29th. Email fourthcontest at gmail.com for more information. Arnold Palmer Regional Airport is hosting an open house on May 4th for the general public. This event is designed to open the world of aviation up to new pilots and students. Laurel Highlands Aeronautical Academy, St. Fitzin College, and CCBC will be all in attendance to promote aviation opportunities, including $75 discovery flights for up to three people, free breakfast, and the chance to speak to instructors and professors about aviation careers. Please call 724-539-4533 to register for this event. Applications are now being accepted for the Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy from June 17th to the 21st at the Westmoreland Conservation District. This five-day program is designed to introduce participants to leadership's concepts and provide interaction with local business, government, and community leaders. Students currently in grades 9 through 11 are eligible to attend. Please see Mrs. Yetter or your guidance counselor for more application information. Applications are due by April 29th. There is a $175 tuition fee, which covers meals and materials. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's JJ Enros with What's Cooking. What's Cooking, my trobe? Today is Thursday, April 25th, and the day we special is Crazy Dipper Day with green beans. Tomorrow, we have Fiesta Chicken Tachos with sweet corn niblets and a chocolate chip mini loaf. The soup of the day's beef noodle. That's What's Cooking. Thanks and back to you. The fear of public speaking is very common, but some people can overcome this fear with practice. Here's reporter Haley Bruno with today's Student Spotlight. Carly Clark is part of our school's forensics team. She qualified for the state tournament and is a two-time state competitor. Last year, I picked a really safe event. I knew that I could do really well being um, impromptu speaking as I was able to write my speech, memorize it, and take the time to perfect it. This year, I have a little bit more confidence in um, my ability to speak on a whim. So this year, I decided to go for impromptu speaking, which I'm really excited about. And it being my second year, I feel like I'm more prepared and know kind of the whereabouts of what's going to happen. Last year, she competed in persuasive speaking. At this year's Fistle State Tournament, she is competing in impromptu. So competing in impromptu and just rehearsing and practicing to compete in impromptu has helped me uh, find my way with words and help me like develop a connection with um, the way I phrase sentences and paragraphs, especially when I'm writing in like English classes or for the newspaper. Um, it's definitely helped me with my public speaking in things like student council meetings or just group discussions through different clubs and classes. Carly believes that public speaking contributes to how she speaks on a daily basis. Qualifying for states as a freshman was really cool. I didn't expect it. Um, I was, it was really exciting because I was speaking about something I was very passionate about and I feel like having competed very successfully last year, this year there's a big weight off of my shoulders knowing like how states are run and how um, what I'm expected to do at the festival itself. Although forensics was a very daunting and challenging club in the beginning, Carly says that she wouldn't change it for the world. She encourages everyone who's thinking about joining the team to try it out. The GLSD Facilities Department is looking to hire summer workers. This is a custodial position that includes general cleaning, moving furniture, and groundskeeping. It is a 10-week program and hours are Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30. The pay is $10.50 per hour. Interested students can pick up an application from Mrs. Yetter's office. Applications are due by May 1st. Students in grades 9 through 11 interested in careers in the natural gas industry are invited to attend a free summer camp in July in Washington, PA, or Williamsport, PA. Scan the QR code for more info and to submit an application. The, the deadline to apply is May 1st. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Lake Show. Go Wildcats!